It's the gear tester here, and I just wanted to give you some initial impressions on the Aimpoint Comp M4S. I have had uh, this particular red dot in my possession for a little while and have enjoyed shooting it very much, and I've been very, very impressed with this particular uh, red dot. I've always liked a 3x9 powered scopes, having that additional uh, magnification has always been uh, valuable to me, but I wanted to try out a red dot and see exactly what all the fuss was about because people seem to really like red dot sights. So I purchased the Aimpoint Comp M4S. I actually purchased it from directly from LaRue Tactical which had uh, this base installed on it. You can see there, this is the uh, one-third co-witness. So that means that if it's mounted on an AR-15, you are going to have the last lower third portion uh, of uh, the front sight. If you had a fixed front sight, you'd see about that much of the front sight coming up rather than a direct co-witness, which is half of the front sight covering half of what you'd be able to see. It doesn't get in the way uh, terrifically, but it does cut down on some of your field of, of vision. So I decided to get this with the two-third or the one-third co-witness, one-third co-witness, because I wanted to have more open area that I'd be looking through through the optic. All right, and uh, I did not really understand what it meant to shoot with two eyes open. Uh, I'm so used to shooting with a, a fixed or power scope uh, or a 3x9 powered scope uh, with magnification, of course, that I didn't really realize the benefits that could be received from a red dot. And I cannot believe how quickly I am able to shoot with this uh, particular uh, sight. Uh, it really surprised me. And I'm going to try and give you a kind of an idea of what it's like to shoot with a red dot versus what it's like to shoot with a uh, an optic that is uh, magnified. Let's say this is our target. With a magnified scope, your field of vision, you know, uh, is narrowed. So if I just put my hands here, you might see th that much. Okay. So if you move over here, you're able to see there. But when you're closing one eye and you got up on the target, this is kind of the way it would appear. Now I know this is kind of a crude representation, but you kind of get things cut down with the aim point. Uh, and I'm going to assume this is the way it is with other red dots. You, it's something almost like this because you're shooting with both eyes open. So you're, for me, um, I usually, I'm right eye dominant, so I'm usually looking through my right eye with a, a scope, but I have both eyes open. So yeah, I'm shooting here, but I'm also able to see what's going on over here and what's going on over here. And the combination of having no magnification, which means every movement is exactly the same, all right? And so I, you know, magnified you move and it's like whoa I moved all the way over here with just a small movement whereas this you just it's exactly the same as your eye perceives it with no no magnification and then you're able to just see exactly what's going on so you may be focused in shooting over here but you might see something move over here boom you can be right over there or you can react whereas I tend to get very focused when I'm shooting with a a uh, magnified optic because this is kinda of what I'm seeing I'm losing that field of view so you're able to react because of the red dot floating there kind of out in space. If my finger kind of is representing the red dot here, it's kind of floating right there. And because you're able to just see everything that's going on. That's, that's one of the things that surprised me uh, with the aim point. So let, let's give you guys a, a better look actually at the, uh, the tool here. The aim point comp M4S. S means that this battery compartment is instead of being up above here as they originally were about three years ago, they're making another model now. They still make that Endpoint Comp M4, but the M4S means a battery compartment is down here. I like that. Gives you gets it out of your field of view up here. You're still able to see more of what's going on. Uh, the way you're seeing it through the camera is not really a good representation of what it's like to actually use it. You can see the red dot there, right? And that's on one of the lower. This is probably you can see maybe you can see it just a little bit there. The camera is not picking it up as, as well as the human eye does. That's the highest setting there. And uh, it, it, it cranks out the brightness. So there are 16 settings with this particular, the Comp M4S. It's got eight uh, visible settings 
and then eight uh, non-visible settings to the human eye without night vision, some kind of a night division vice. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you've got, and I'm not sure that you can see that, but I can see it there. And yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth is a super bright setting. So you got 16 settings that they say are there. And uh, I find that that bright, brightest setting is great when it is really bright outside. I haven't really found that this gets, uh, you know, that you lose it in sunlight as I've been shooting. And the, the lower settings are great at night where you don't need, you can overpower and you can blind, not, you can uh, kind of blind yourself and not be able to see what's going on past the site if you have it all the way up. So I think it's got plenty of brightness settings. For me, one of the selling points of the Comp M4S and an aim point in general was the battery life. And this takes a double A battery and uh, with the correct kind of AA battery, it will last eight years of continuous, continuously being on uh, at one of the middle settings. So it's still one of those settings that you're able to view with the human eye. You don't need a, a, a night vision uh, tool or night vision optic to be able to view that setting. It is the fifth setting, if I'm reading things correctly, down from the highest setting. So if we Flip it all the way around here, put it on the highest setting, we go one, so that would be the first setting, two, three, four, and the fifth setting. Uh, that setting, let's see if you can see it there, that setting right there, it will go eight years continuously on. If you bump it up to some of these higher settings, we're talking about three years at that setting, if you just turn it on and left it on. And so that's the, the battery life is a huge thing to me, also the fact that it takes the double A battery is huge to me because let's just say that I left it on for three years, came back, highest setting, oh my goodness, you know, my optic is out. I can run down to a local grocery store, hardware store, maybe I'm out uh, hunting and I have this on a particular gun I'm using, boom, I can instantly have uh, a battery that would be readily available to me. I could even take one out of a flashlight that I would have. And uh, double A batteries are just so much easier to get than... Uh, like CR123 batteries and some of these others. So the battery life and the, the, the ruggedness, I think that the aim points carry with them and the availability of that battery. Here are the windage and elevation. You just take these caps off and you can adjust it. I've done a little bit of that, but basically have left it at its most basic setting there. And I'm really happy with the uh, LaRue mount and I'm very happy with the Aimpoint Comp M4S. I've been really surprised at how quickly I am able to shoot with this. This is not an unboxing. I've done uh, about 200 rounds uh, shooting with this. I'm looking forward to shooting uh, more more with this uh, particular optic. I'm hopefully in the next year or so gonna be showing you this optic, maybe with a couple different bases, shooting on AR-15 platform, 1022 platform, a 12 gauge platform, and hopefully a bolt action 308 platform, the Ruger Gunsight Scout. So subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing those videos coming up here over the next year. Of course, I'm doing lots of other videos that have to do with shooting, camping, and survival gear. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this kind of initial impression of mine on the Aimpoint Comp M4S. It's definitely an excellent sight. It is very expensive at $800, but I think if, if you plan on using it, and uh, the benefits that a red dot gives you over a magnified optic uh, on, on close range or medium range situations, zero to maybe 100 yards, and the speed and the field of view that you're able to still maintain with this particular optic, that there are definitely some benefits to be gained from the Aimpoint Comp M4S. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.